tremendous thanks to the D.C. chapter of the Chief Petty Officers Association for your hard work and the contributions of all those who donated their time and their treasure to make this possible. Treasury Secretary Mellon stepped to the platform and he began with these words, quote, We've come here today to dedicate a memorial to the men of the Coast Guard who died in the World War. It is erected in gratitude to those who gave their lives for their country. In the hour of her great need, when danger threatened, and when civilization itself seemed in the balance, these men laid down their lives in order that you and I, and future generations, might find the world a better place to live in. Captain Wheeler said that this memorial typifies the simplicity and stability of sea service, portrays its ideals and its characteristics, and fittingly honors both those who sleep beneath the seas and those who repose in the sacred soil of America. Decades of weather and exposure had taken its toll on this monument. Answering the call both to honor our profession and to honor those who have served, our Washington, D.C. Chief Petty Officers Association took it upon themselves to continue to pay respect to those who gave so much by restoring this monument to their service and to their sacrifice. This memorial is more relevant and meaningful today viewed through the lens of history than it was on the day that it was built. As we stand here today, surrounded in this hallowed ground by so many who gave so much in service to their country, it's not hard to feel what President Wilson once called that solemn pride in the heroism of those who died in the country's service.